Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is my second take, because my first take went to all zeros when I closed my lid to put my breakfast uh, tray on it. How about that? Well, when you go to all zeros, you go to all zeros, and you must start over if you don't know how to splice and dice. Uh, which I don't know how to splice and dice. Let's see where I am on my tins. Oh, things are moving along fast. Looks like I got 33 more minutes on it. Well, <coughs> I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for asking. I got earbuds in my ears, which makes my microphone sound incredible. <sighs> And this thing should be working. Well, it is turned off. Uh, uh. <coughs> Oops. She That had gone the way of the dodo. Well, I'm a mess. I just dropped my, uh, Nineteen dollar thing down the river. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Pick it up and set it back where it was and tape it down, I guess, would be the right thing to do. Sound like a spooky door opening. New Orleans. You gotta love it if you go there. It's not so bad if you stay in the city. Where the policemen stay. But that's where I'd stay, is in the city. I don't go to the Outer Banks. It's kind of like Mississippi. Stay on the interstate. If you got to get gas, Get gas right off the interstate. Don't go looking for a gas station outside. You'll find one. And you might find a little more than you expected. Ask, ask me how I know. This guy knows. 
that when you get off into the outer edges of the highway in Mississippi, you're going to run into some things that you don't even want to deal with. And I'm talking about people, places, cars, and dogs. Because in Mississippi, they like their mean dogs. Yes, sir, Rebob. They also like to drink quite a bit, too. Now, I'm not saying anything against Mississippi. Mississippi's got good people, bad people. Just like everywhere else. You got your good people and you got your bad people. But I got treated to a miss whole bunch of Mississippi I didn't want to see. I didn't know existed. Yeah, red and green. I need some ice water, Jason. She's still working good. Clean shade. A little crunchy up there, yeah. Okay, now this hand goes to this ear.
so you know what I mean how we're moving down there not too big a mess but it is a little bit of a mess Looks like 23. Yep, got the light on. Jason, what you need? how about uh, three quarters of a glass of ice water and look underneath me. If I got this pad, that wedge, is it underneath me? The wedge? That wedge thing? No. Okay, it's not under me. Why did you lose it? What, what? Something keeps pushing me forward, like I'm, where is the wedge? The wedge has got to be underneath me. I don't see nothing. No, you ain't got nothing back here, man. Well, damn it, then. Damn it all to hell. What happened to your wedge? <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. I think I'm. I think I'm laying on it, Jason. I don't, yeah, no, yeah. no wedge. It feels like something keeps pushing me on and off this thing, but weirder things have happened. Hey, no, but I have an idea of who, where your wedge might be. It's good to see you. Yes, good to see you, buddy.
What you butt dialing me or what you doing? Oh, it looks like a burn day from here. Yeah, it is. It's uh, only the second one, only second burn day we've had. Gosh, three, four months or so. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough. Well, I got a lot, got a lot of other stuff burned off uh, on the last one a couple of days ago, but I was just trying them all and just trying to make plans for the day to see what was happening. I was yep. to see mom. She was. Still coughing and sick, going, got her some Robitussin. Oh, did you? Good, good. Uh, she she needs those damn uh, nutrition drinks, chocolate. Yeah. Buy, her, buy her a six-pack or a 12-pack of those fuckers and take them over there. They are the only things that are keeping her alive. Because she won't eat the food. Did you say you wanted ice or ice water? Ice water. They're the only things that are keeping her alive. Because she won't eat, but she'll go back to her room and crack one of those suckers open and drink on that for an hour and a half. So, if you could for me, do that. Rex is giving me a hard time. Hand me a Mountain Dew over there. I know, I know, Eric. Is that it? Okay. The last one, huh? What? I'm hey. Well, well, Eric, Eric. Now we're back to the same old thing. You remember when you jumped on Dad? You know how much good it did. Absolutely nothing. They. You know what? The, I can't stop what I started. I so but I'm, you. You've got no way out, Eric. All you can hope is, let me tell you, she is in the mood to say, I, I understand why Eric got mad, and I, I basically forgive him. This is what she said to me. And just don't let your temper get the better of you. You know what I'm saying? But just like you sit, like you have to do, just stay away from her for a little while, and then don't expect much when you get to see her, because she's she's getting ornery. Uh, unlike Dad, who didn't get ornery, Mom is getting ornery, yeah. and so you don't you just. Like I said, if you take her over a six-pack of those nutrition drinks, she's going to love you to death again. And and the Robitussin and all that makes a big... You're her favorite son, no matter what you do. So, just remember that. Well, well, Eric... Get, that's what you are, and uh, Rex and I are jealous, and that's just the way it's going to be. And so you just have to fulfill your place in society, because that's what you are. But you can get in your little van, and you can go up to Turner Falls, and you can camp out in your little van, and you can drink a few brewskis, and kick a few rocks. You can even kick them my way. But Rex will catch them and take them to his house. But, you know, do do what makes you happy, Eric. 
and and don't try mom is basically gone I think you tried to tell me that the other day uh, she's there when she's there and she is somebody else when she's not and well Oh, oh, you're not going to be able, you're not going to be able to undo anything. You, you're not going to be able to resolve any problems that you had with, with anything. She's too far gone, Eric. But no, you just resolve them with yourself, Eric. You, you have, you have done made your bed, you've lied in it, now you're back out of your bed, and you're on your own. You've got Rex and I to lean upon a little bit, what we can. I'll do what I can. I mean, and then, I was thinking, that's why I got the band. That's why I got the golf cart. That's why I was trying to right, do Right, right. You were trying to do right. Yeah, like, like, like. No, 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 Eric. She doesn't think that. She just, she realizes that she pushed you. No, she realizes. I, look, I talk to her every day, three times a day, Eric. She realizes that she pushed you too far and that she she can't but help it, but that she is in a world, Eric, that she doesn't even understand. And she is trying to make it through the best she can and uh, forget about what happened the other day because it's it in another week she'll have forgot about it too. So yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't. Well, drink, drink Mountain Dew. I guarantee you, you drink three Mountain Dews, 12 ounces back to back, buddy, you'll feel good. <laughs> hey, well, don't worry, work, work. Uh, she's still the loving mom, but she needs those goddamn nutrition drinks and Rex Rex figures that he's put her over in a place that gives her all the vitamins and nutrition she needs but she's not getting the vitamins and nutrition that she needs and she's what you're seeing is a woman who's going downhill because Mayberry doesn't give a damn I mean they'll No, no, Eric. She's already written off her. Don't. 
explain how mom got hurt. No, no, don't worry so much about that. No, just Mark, just. Hey, have you got those little bitty dumbbell weights that you can lift up with your arms that aren't quite so heavy? Well, she needs something to lift up with her arms that aren't that aren't heavy at all. Uh, I will remind her three times a day. We'll we'll talk and we'll use one arm at a time, and we'll we'll get some use out of them. But she's got she is shaking. So bad now, Eric. She can barely. I, I can't imagine her holding food on a fork. So she can barely eat her fish sandwich yesterday. And Rex, like I said, threw his little shit fit all the way from here to uh, uh, Lake Dallas. And. There's, hey, uh, Eric, there's, there's nobody to talk to. No, no, Eric, she appreciates what you've done. She appreciates, she knows, she likes what you've done with the house. She's really proud of what you've done. And she's and she's liking every minute of it. So don't those are the the solid ass facts. Now, when, just because you got mad, you thought you were on a path to enlightenment, but it is a path to darkness. And don't get on it again. You just stay, Mister Happy Eric, who's not got a brain cell left like mom and you can get on her level. Well, but, well like see, she, she can mom. fix eggs. She can fix her own eggs and she can she can do little things like that. But mom, mom can't. She can do. She can do that. She hasn't had to do that in a year. No, not a year. How long has she been at Mayberry? Three months now. Two months. See, she was fixing her own food up till she went to Mayberry, and Rex took all that shit away from her. Oh, I understand. I understand. I appreciate you talking to me, Eric. But I, I hope I enlightened you to a little bit. Okay, buddy? All right. All right. Have a good day. Don't worry about things. Yeah, have a good day. It's good. I'm getting ready to call Mom right now. Have a good day. I will. Don't you worry. You're 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 the chosen one. Okay, Eric. Okay, calm down and have a good burn day. Don't burn up the trees now. I'll tell you. Oh yeah, it's it's. Shit, yeah, shit, yeah. I know. That's why I was saying, have a have a safe burn day, man, and don't get too crazy. No, no, no. House still stands. Looks good over there, from what I can see in the pictures and all. So, and, and if nothing else, take a nap in that camper trailer, Eric. Go out and take a nap in it. 
you know, when you get tired. Well, I appreciate you giving me some suggestions. There you go. Well, take take care. I gotta go. Bye bye. Right. Mama. Well, is there, uh, uh, is, you got some Robitussin to drink? Well, you've got some Robitussin. Take two tablespoonfuls of it. Okay. Mom? Can you hear me, Mom? She's going to be all right. She's got a bad cold. So I'm going to say goodbye now. I'll keep you posted. Goodbye.
goodbye and thanks for caring. Okay. Goodbye. God love you. God take care of your sick. Wherever they may be. Because when sickness comes upon you, it's hell. Especially when you can't physically go and help the person. So let's see if this will shut her down. <laughs>